I'm Randy and I make candy and tonight I'm making birthday cake Kit Kats. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Well compadres, we've reached another milestone. RMC has been around for three years. Three years! Can you believe it? Seems more like three weeks. I guess it's like that old saying, time's fun when you're having flies. Wait a minute. Strike that. Reverse it. Thank you. Anyway, as I was planning episodes a while back, I was trying to figure out what to make for this auspicious occasion. Mrs. Randy Makes Candy, who always knows exactly what I need, brought home a couple of these. Birthday Cake Kit Kats. As soon as I saw them, I knew we had a winner. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own birthday cake Kit Kats, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I'm using some white chocolate, some vanilla wafer cookies, and some sprinkles. I say some because this is one of those treats where it's just as easy to make one as it is a dozen, so the more you want, the more ingredients you'll need. I'm also using a bowl, a lined cutting board, and some precision dipping tools. You'll notice that these are not the precision dipping tools that I normally use. My son, who you've seen in a few episodes, bought these for me, so we'll take them for a spin and see how they work. Okay, let's make some candy. Temper or melt the white chocolate, then dip a cookie into the chocolate and place it on the lined cutting board. If you want them to resemble the commercial version, dip two more cookies and place them right next to the first. Then add some sprinkles. Otherwise, you can just keep them as separate treats. Continue until you've made as many as you like, then leave them on the counter to set. And that's it! Okay, let's have a taste. Slancheva! Very tasty. Crispy, crunchy, sweet. I'll say that they don't taste quite as much like birthday cake as the birthday cake fudge I made a while back, but these are perfectly acceptable and way easier to make. If you're looking for a super simple way to celebrate a birthday or any other day, you really ought to try these. So let's talk precision dipping tools. We have mixed results. This round one might be good for something more compact, like a truffle, but trying to use it with these cookies requires Cirque du Soleil level balancing skills, as you may have noticed. The Trident, however, worked quite nicely. It's got a really wide spread, which not only provides support, but allows the chocolate to drain nicely. If I had two of these, I could save some money on plastic forks. Either way, thanks for the thoughtful gift, Gibby. Before I go, I just want to thank you. When you leave a comment telling me that you tried a recipe or offer a suggestion for an episode, it just means the world to me. It makes me feel like we have a connection, that we're working together, not just to make candy, but to make the world a little bit sweeter. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you'll join me for the next three years. Or it's just as easy to make one as 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 as. Then add some requires shirt du shirt shirt either way either way oh my gosh i was doing so well